that is the resort I am staying at currently. And the Cobras win against the Pacific Predators 2-1 to one in the first series of the second half of the season. I think, I do not think people understand how big that win is for this team, for this franchise. Arch rivals, they do not like each other. Al Gordon, Drew Davis, famously, do not like each other. Maybe not, maybe not that much, but always competitive. Ryan Cratch, a star pitcher, Cy Young winner, over 90 strikeouts last season. We had four guys heading in. No Sean Flynn, which was rather important, I suppose. No Sean Flynn heading into this one. And Brendan Baranowski did exactly what I said he needs to do in order to be a star in this league. I said he needs to get his back going or else... I said if he has his back going um, throughout this year, throughout the three um, series he's played before, in my mind, that is an easy rookie of the year. And this year, we saw a glimpse of what that, could pot uh, that, that potential could be. And there's a good, good, good reason that this, ki this kid is first overall. And if I'm doing a redraft, I'm still taking this kid first overall because I think potential plays a huge part in LOW more than people think. A, a three-run homer in game one and um, some clutch pitching in game two. So let's talk about it. So game one starts off with two walks from the captain. I don't know if you can see it, but the captain, Drew Davis, and Andy Duran. So these two locks um, obviously bring up the rookie, Brendan Baranowski, who hits a home run off the foul pole. And me watching the game on YouTube, I knew immediately that was a home run. So when I saw a delay, I was like, why is everyone stopping? Because Drew Davis was just sprinting because he didn't know if it was a home run or not. Um, but it was obviously a home run off the foul pole. Brenda Baranowski with his first career home run saved that ball. And it is 3-0 Cobras very early. In the rest of the game, Drew Davis locked in. His new 12-6 drop ball is absolutely ridiculous. And he kind of stunned some of the Predators' um, batters. And there was a bit of a scare in, I believe, the second inning. Um, and, the, and especially in the third, which I believe brought in a run to end the shutout. But Andy Duran, on the warning track, makes a catch to end game one. The Cobras have an early jump in the series. And their record after that one, they were 500 with a 5-5 five and five record after game one. So now they need one more win to close it out. And they don't really get it, which is tough. But game two... You know, I don't, you know, there's not much you can really do. I'm pretty sure, I don't think there's a home run hit that game. I really don't know. I don't really remember. Um, but, you know, Brendan Baranowski, I thought, pitched well. Uh, so, you know, there's nothing you can do there. Um, and then you head into game three with all these tornado warnings and rain and mic'd up sessions in the car. There was, in fact, an Aculean Nippus coming in from the Western Front. Um, there, there was, indu there was indu indubitably an uh, Aculean Nippus coming in from the Western Front. And then that leads us to Game 3, which was... A score which was scoreless through the first inning. Then the second inning, we have bases loaded with number four league veteran, Mr. Drip, Andy Durant. And he hits a grand slam, extra ham, side of carrot cake to give the Cobras a four nothing lead right before they go in right before they go into the rain delay for a bit more than 45 minutes coming in 50 minutes and Andy Duran that is so huge another person who hit his first career at the, um, first home run of the season and I do not think it could have come at a better time for this man he he needed that one for um, just the season and the fact that he got it is so huge for the team and himself finally getting on that, um, finally statistically coming into the season. And I really love to see that from Andy. And hopefully he can put that in coming into playoff time and heading into our last series against, I believe, the Magic, which is a tiebreaker series. So it, the game would mostly stay that way with Drew Davis 
locking in with his third inning pitching, in my opinion, being some of his best pitching of the season. Um, being some of his best pitching of the season, his but his pitching in the third this season. I uh, mean, in, in the third inning this series was absolutely amazing in Game Three, and you know if he can keep that up, that's just absolutely wonderful. And what a note to end on! And the Cobras with a huge win against their arch arch rivals in the Preds, and you know the Snake Squad looking strong here, and no more no and. Like we say, no mercy, not ever. Well, thank you for watching. Bye, BC. Don't text your habit. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.